Weeding out concerns, residents in a Saginaw neighborhood reaching out to us wanting something done about an overgrown vacant lot. TV5's James Felton spoke with city officials to find out what, if anything, is being done to address the issue. This field hasn't been cut in 13 years. This resident who did not want to go on camera talking about this vacant lot across the street from her home on South 20th Street in Saginaw. She tells us she's tired of seeing this every day. I've been trying to reach out to our city officials who laughed it off. It's not important. When you open your front window, you shouldn't have to look at a jungle. Anything and everything could be over there. We reached out to the city of Saginaw and were told that the city's approach for grass on vacant lots is to cut from the curb to the sidewalk, then five feet in, or five feet in when there isn't a sidewalk, and triangle shapes on street corners. City officials tell us there are fewer staff than there was 21 years ago with many more vacant properties. In 2002, there were 2,835 vacant lots. That number rose to 4,068 in 2012. And at last check, 6,137 vacant lots could be found in Saginaw in 2022. City officials say a fully staffed weed abatement crew would have six full-time and four part-time employees. Right now, they only have four full-time and two part-time employees. One full-timer is on medical leave. We're told Saginaw will be posting a full-time job opening soon. There are currently openings for part-time work as well. We also learned that the lot across the street from this resident's house will be cut back five feet from the curb. The rest will be allowed to go back to nature. In other words, the city has no plans to cut all of this down. This is really ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm telling you, it does not mean we're going to stand by. We're going to the city council. If this field continues to look like this, can you imagine? Reporting in Saginaw, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. And city officials tell us there are several vacant properties crews haven't touched yet, but they're on a list to get done this year.